Hi again, Golden Flashes fans. Tylander here with Kent State head men's basketball coach Rob Senderoff. Golden Flashes, uh, in less than a week, will be starting the exhibition season and then right into the season opener. And uh, Coach Senderoff, could you maybe take us through the transitional phase once you got the job and then you're into training camp? And now you're into some, some pretty uh, good practices getting ready for the season, aren't you? Yeah. It's a blur the last couple of months, to be honest with you. Right now, just focusing on the season, looking forward to starting. Uh, we had a scrimmage last Saturday, uh, which was closed, and, and I think we've gotten better from that. And one of the things, Coach, you have said since being appointed to the head coaching position was, and will be your rallying cry this year, that your team to be two points better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We need to, to find a way, uh, first of all, to get to that last game on March 10th. But, uh, but then when we get there, to find a way to win it. And uh, with our senior class, four seniors, I think we have good leadership. I think these kids really want to get to the NCAA tournament. Uh, it's a long, long road ahead of us, and there's a lot of teams in our league that will have a chance to get there this year. But, uh, but we think we're one of those teams, and the goal will be when we play on March 10th to, to cut down the nets. Coach, you have a lot of pieces in place from last year's team that, as you mentioned, played for a MAC championship, was the first in conference history over the last 40 years or so to win back-to-back -back regular season crowns, a nice postseason run as well. Is there such a thing as expectations being a little too high? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The expectations are high, and there's, there's no question about it. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, I'd rather our team be expected to do well than for nobody to think that we should do mm -hmm. well. So, uh, you know what, our kids have played with a bullseye on their back for a long time. When you come to Kent State, the expectation is to, to compete uh, for a conference championship, to compete for postseason. Uh, we've done that for a long time now, so our, our kids are used to that, but uh, obviously a lot of work goes into it. There's no guarantees at all. What we did last year is last year. Uh, our record starts out 0-0. Zero and zero. Everyone in the league is, is practicing hard. Uh, everyone in the league has a lot of players returning, and, uh, and everyone in the league has a legitimate chance to be playing on March 10th, uh, but our goal, uh, you know, just like everybody else's, is to find a way to, to get there and then win. Coach, who's impressed you the most in the camp so far? Yeah, you know, uh, we've had different guys on different days play really, really well. Um, you know, I think our seniors in particular, uh, Justin Green, Mike Perini, uh, Scooty Guyton, and Justin Manns, I, I think those guys, at the end of the day, we'll have a lot of guys contribute, but those four guys are going to have to carry us. What about some of the new faces that fans will be excited to see, you think? Yeah, you know, I think uh, Chris Evans is a really, really good athlete, and he's been getting progressively better and better. Uh, Pat Jackson sat out last year. He's a physical specimen, uh, and I think he'll impress some, some people with what he can do on the court. And then we have two freshmen, uh, Chris Brewer, who it has a little bit of a knee surgery, you know, he had a little bit of a knee surgery uh, last Saturday. So he's going to be a little while before he gets into the rotation again. But he was practicing really well up to that point, and I was really impressed with him. Uh, and then Dev Manley's a really good shooter uh, who's continued to get better and better as practice has gone along. So I think those four new faces, along with the guys coming back, uh, we have a pretty nice nucleus. You were projected to win the MAC East and the odds-on favorite to win the Mid-American Conference Tournament. But when you look at the projections in the East specifically, Coach, when a team like the University at Buffalo is projected fifth, how loaded is the MAC East? Yeah, yeah, you know what? The MAC East is really, really strong. And, and nothing not to take anything away from the West because the West has some very good teams as well. I think our league is strong this year. But uh, like you said, Buffalo has a kid, Javon McCray, <laughs> who's an absolute monster. And, uh, and they returned four starters from their team last year for them to be picked fifth on our side. And then Bowling Green's picked six on our side, and they returned four starters and I think 10 letter winners. So I just think our side every day, if you don't bring it, you can lose to anybody. I think our kids know that, but so do the kids from the other teams too. So it'll be competitive when we get into January, no doubt. You talked about the Mac West, and it's a team or it's a, a division that the Flashes have really had some success against the last few years. But Coach Western Michigan on paper looks tough. Yeah, you know what? Western Michigan is going to be really tough. And, and uh, Ball State Ball State had two kids on the preseason first team all conference from the West. So, I mean, they're going to be very good. And, and then, you know, you've had some coaching changes. Uh, but Toledo's brought some new players in. And I think they'll be much better. Central Michigan's got one of the best players and probably, you know, maybe the most talented player in the league. And uh, Coach Ziegler's son, Trey. And, 
I was listening to him on the teleconference today. He's real excited about his team as well. So I think, you know, you go into the year, everybody's zero and zero. Uh, I do think our league is really strong this year, and hopefully we can get some non-conference wins that will help our league RPI. And then, obviously, once we get into January, the conference is just going to be, uh, it's going to be brutal, just like it always is. You have a chance to do that uh, RPI trick right out of the gate, Coach. You're You've been graced, really, this program has to appear on the ESPN family of networks the last few years, and you'll get right back at it in the opener, 10 o'clock a.m. at the West Virginia Coliseum. Do we have an advanced scouting report on the Mountaineers yet? Yeah, they're good. That's the advanced <laughs> scouting report we have. I mean, you know, it's Coach Huggins, who's a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, West Virginia, which, you know, is, is one of the dominant teams in the Big East year in and year out. Uh, and it's going to be quite a challenge for our guys. but. Hopefully we'll be ready for it. It'll be on TV. It'll be a great experience for our kids. And, uh, you know, we're going to go out there expecting to win now again. West Virginia's good. <laughs> but, but we think we are too, and we think it's going to be a great game. Well, Coach, thanks a lot. Good luck all season. We'll be checking in with you a little bit later on. Sounds good, Ty. Thanks. For Head Coach Rob Senderoff, I'm Tyler Nerman.